Welcome to this edition of Inside View. I'm Tom Harmer, your County Administrator. My guest today is Scott Scheuer. Scott's the uh, Director of our Public Utilities Department. Thank you for joining us today. My pleasure, Tom. Yes. I, wa I want to start off because you're a relatively new member to the team. Time flies. It's Correct. been a few years, but yes. still one of the newer members of the team. I wanted you to share a little bit about your background, especially prior to coming to Sarasota County. Sure. Thank you. Yes, relatively new, uh, just under three years here okay. with the county, coming here in late 2014. Prior to that, uh, spent 30 plus years in Northeast Ohio working for a city, uh, municipal government, obviously in public works, public utilities, and city government. Um, I didn't plan on working that long in a municipal career, quite honestly, but I got my start pretty much in the trenches, if you will, working mm -hmm. in water and sewer utilities, and eventually moved my way up through supervision and management and had the opportunity to actually lead the city as far as a mm -hmm. city manager. So um, I, I love public works, public utilities mm -hmm. and uh, serving the public. And uh, I'll have uh, 40 years in government work here in a couple of years. Wow. So I'm quite proud of that. Yes, well, we, we appreciate your experience especially. Thank you. I don't know how much you miss the winters from up there. I do not miss the winters <laughs> at all, quite honestly. Uh, the, the beautiful weather here, the sunshine every day. The tropical trees yeah. is just wonderful. Now we would get some sunny days, obviously in Northeast Ohio in the summertime, mm -hmm. but they were fleeting, and most of the time it was a, it was a gray, overcast skies yes. that we dealt with. So I, I much enjoy it here. Okay, well, good. Well, I know we're excited to have you on the team. You've Thank made you. a lot of of good changes and and have really taken a proactive role and been a pivotal part of our leadership team. Thank you. So, the public may not know what the Public Utilities Department is. Mm -hmm. Can you share a little bit about your broad range of responsibility? Sure, sure can. Yes, just throwing out the term public utilities, uh, the public sometimes really doesn't know what we do. They may think water and sewer, um, but we do water distribution. Uh, we do wastewater collection, uh, reclaim systems. Uh, we also do storm water, mm -hmm. and we do solid waste, which is basically uh, managing your garbage at your, at your street and your recyclables. Uh, so when you think about it, quite a, a broad spectrum of services that we provide across the county. And, and in some uh, areas you also provide that service within the cities. That is correct. Uh, for example, the city of Sarasota, we actually manage the stormwater systems mm -hmm. for them in collaboration with them, of course, but uh, that's a good example of things that we do within a city as yeah. well as throughout the county. Yeah, I think that's a good example of a partnership where the city could provide that service themselves, but Years ago, they decided that they wanted to partner with the county and it'd be more efficient if we would work with them to do that. Very true. And, and as we know, stormwater really doesn't know boundaries as far as corporate yes. boundaries, you know, and the watersheds that we share and that we're in. It just, it just seems to kind of make sense yeah. to have that, that larger picture and that overview and that management. Yeah, and I think from the public standpoint, they don't necessarily pay attention to where boundaries are. So where, where the city of Sarasota's city limits are or, or Venice, et cetera. Uh, and so when you think about that kind of service, that they just are expecting a high level of service and they are expecting mm -hmm. their local government to take care of it, but they don't really probably think about who does it. Very true. And, and you know, quite often when I answer the phone okay. and there's a customer service uh, request or issue, I, I take that same approach. Uh, well, what, where are you? What is the issue? And how can I help you? I mean, yeah. it may be something that we can do within the county domain or possibly just helping them to reach the right resource in one of our local cities or another jurisdiction, if you will, to help get the issue resolved. Yes. Well, no, that, that's a good comment because I, I was going to ask you now as the director, you're the director of all those functions. Mm -hmm. um, what does your day-to-day -day job look like? What do you do as the director? My day-to-day, -day, um, you know, I'm focused on customer service every day, mm -hmm. considering the different areas that we touch and that there's a customer service point of contact in everything that we do. So um, most days it's the focus on what can we do better today what did we not do yesterday that we need to focus okay. on? And as the director, I'm always looking ahead, whether it be next week, next year, 10 years from now, as far as strategically, how we can do better, how we can manage better, and all, bas basically with a focus on customer yeah. service. Well, and we see that in, in the results. I know we're very fortunate. We've been working with the University of South Florida, I think for about 26 years now, where they annually survey the residents and ask them about their experience in contacting the county for mm -hmm. services and a lot of requests do come in to your department you're one of the departments you're you're a large operating department yes. that impacts and interacts with the public on a regular basis and we've been i know since i've been here these last three or four or five years we've received very favorable responses back on that customer service interaction 
And that's great to hear. Yeah. And I think you, we both know we can always do better. Yes, and we're and, always, yes. And, we, and we're always looking yeah. for that. And I think that's, again, that's, that's our focus. And with, with technology changes um, and with communications, that's, that's important for us and to understand how best to communicate you know, with the public. And I'll, and I'll say to that end as well that <clears throat> sometimes people don't really know how to reach out and contact us yes. in public utilities. And there's a variety of ways through our website, through 861-5000, um, our contacts are available as well to reach out and, and we like to hear from the public and yes. often I feel that sometimes the public doesn't know how to get in touch with us but we're a great service organization and we touch yes. so many different disciplines we're, we're here to help we're here to serve uh, help us help us serve you best is yes. really what we're, we're trying to do when you think of just one of your areas of responsibility solid waste mm -hmm. you know trash collection and how many customers we may have and how many times there's someone going by and picking up or providing a service to all the residents on, on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. And that interaction just in that one area is significant. And 30,000 pickups a day. Yeah. And it's usually pretty quiet in terms of those issues with those pickups. Yeah. But when they do come in, of course, we respond and see what we can do to resolve the issue. And usually it's a, a missed pickup, potentially, or maybe somebody has put their trash out on the wrong day. Yep. for example, but we, we managed to take care of that as well. Yes, very good. I know, I know you do because very few of those things ever elevate to county administration. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, so are there other interesting or fun facts about your uh, area of responsibility that you could share with us? Well, we just talked about solid waste. Uh, we have about 150,000 customers, 30,000 pickups a day through the five-day work week, if you will. Um, water, I think, is kind of interesting. We have about 90,000 customers and growing as far as our water service mm -hmm. goes. Um, we supply about 20 million gallons per day mm -hmm. of water, which is quite a bit. Um, and back on the solid waste side, for example, um, last year we were able to divert 1.5 million pounds of hazardous waste mm. from our landfill through our hazardous waste office that we have or facility where people can take that debris there, if you will. So some good things, uh, large services, large areas, big numbers. Yes, no, they really are, and they, and they make a difference. Like you said, the hazardous waste disposal, an opportunity mm -hmm. for individuals to take, whether it's some chemicals or extra leftover paint, uh, et cetera, and you guys can then take that and, and in many cases, recycle it mm -hmm. as well. Very yes. true. So um, you hit on customer service. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a standard in the county that we've kind of set across all the departments that says, you know, we'd like to acknowledge within one day a request. We, we try to handle it as quickly as possible, and we like to resolve it within five days. Now we know, you know, especially in your area, if it deals with, say, a stormwater issue mm -hmm. that's, you know, deals with aging infrastructure, it's not something that can be handled quickly, but if we can't fix it in five days, we try to get back to them and let them know what we can do or when we'll be able to get back to them within that. Uh, and I know that's something that you are really um, placing an emphasis on to mm -hmm. your employees as Very well. Very much so. Very yeah. much so. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it, it can be a challenge at times. I mean, as, as you're aware, there's some things mm -hmm. that you can fix within a day or two, and there's other times that you may have to uh, study something to, to make a repair right. or correct things, or maybe it's just coordinating the right contract or the right crew to get out on the job. But communication is important, that's the key. So uh, we always like to acknowledge the customer that we've mm -hmm. received your request, whether it come from your office or from the Board of County Commissioners back down to mm -hmm. our office. Um, tell the, the customer what they can expect from us as far as communications, and then, then follow those lines and communicate. I wouldn't say we over communicate, but we wanna make sure that we are yeah. communicating. And we will even reach back and, and talk to the resident and say, oh, just by the way, here's what we're doing, here's what's going to happen. Now, we're working on a model to do a better job of that because schedules do change and sometimes we can't hit the exact schedule we want to. And we've had some issues where maybe we haven't notified the customer that we've right. slipped by a week or two, but we're, we're putting some practices into place where basically we can say, here's what's going on. We haven't forgotten about you, but we're slipping by yes. a week or so. We will be there. So just being a little bit more proactive in our communications and, and we're teetering on just how much we should communicate with the customers as far as some automatic messages or emails or tweets hmm. like that. We know people don't want to be bothered with that information. They just want us to show up and do the work, but we're just trying to gauge once again how much we should communicate. And it's changing every day as far yes. as the different technologies, but we're trying to keep yes. up with that. Well, very good, very good. So if you think about um, all the areas you uh, are responsible for, 
Uh, we didn't talk about landfill, mm -hmm. and that's one of those areas that's regional. So some of the things you do are uh, for all the customers out there, like all the trash pickups you mentioned, or the mm -hmm. water customers, or the sewer customers. The landfill is kind of a regional service that's provided. The, the cities will use that, that individuals will use that, and, mm -hmm. and you're responsible for that as well. Correct. Um, and it's a beautiful site. It really is. Uh, you've been there, I, I know. Been, yes. uh, the first time I was there, I was just totally impressed. In fact, I, I couldn't believe we're on our way to go see a landfill as far as the long drive to yes. get there. Uh, beautiful facility, well maintained. Uh, it's, a, it's a great site and a great service that we have going on out there. So I think the, yeah. the county, the county residents should be very proud of that. Uh, yeah, also a great birding site, which we've found out or I've discovered as well. Uh, people like to come out there and look at the, the wildlife and the nature. Yes, well, and, 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 I, and I know that as you travel around and say you're driving uh, down the interstate in certain areas, you'll pass a large landfill mm -hmm. off to the side of the road and sometimes there's a, an odor or, or there's a significant amount of birds there. Right. It's a different experience when you go out to, it truly to is. our landfill. Yeah, it's very well maintained. Uh, yeah, and, and out on the same property, you also have the, uh, the, what we call the Donna Bay Project. Correct. Uh, that's a pretty significant water quality project. So, yes, it is. You yes, know, it is. Wh what does that mean when, when you're doing a large project like that for water quality? Well, it's a huge project. It's, a, it's an award-winning project yeah. as well. We, we received qu several awards here this last year um, when we opened the facility, yeah. if you will. Um, very large facility in terms of water quality initiative. Uh, basically, it's stripping off water, if you yeah. will, um, out of Calpen Slough and kind of sends it through a natural filtration area through mm -hmm. natural lands, um, cleans the water, if you will, and then it kind of gets back into the system. So your downstream areas, your beaches, those type of things, mm -hmm. we have actually better water improved water yeah. quality coming through the area. It's, it's, it's a huge facility. I think you and I have both seen it yeah. on a map and it's large, yeah. but once you visit oh, yes, the site, driven, you're really I'm impressed with the, the yes. size of it. It's just, yes. it, it's a wonderful site, so. Well, and, and you also have um, uh, partnerships. You, you worked with the Water Management District to partner on that, yes. but another partnership that you work on is the Peace River yes. Water Authority. And there's always concern about growth. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things associated with growth is do we have enough water for the future residents of, of the county. We're very fortunate in our partnership with Peace River. Yes. And, and they have a very large reserve out there. Very much so. As well. Very much so. Yeah, I think that, you know, I, that question comes up every once in a sure. while as far as what are your future supply needs, what are the water resources like, especially when we had that recent drought, yes. if you will, through the area. But our water portfolio is, is, is very diverse, if you will, as far as yeah. our supply, which is great, and, and Peace River supports that, and we support them as well. Yes. Uh, it's a great regional water supply authority, and as you know, um, annually we do our projections, our 20-year projections, yeah. as far as what our needs are on our resources, and we're constantly working on it to make sure that we're staying ahead of basically the needs out yes. there, and being sensitive to the environment at the same time. So it's a, it's a balancing act, um, but as you know, there's new technologies coming mm -hmm. around for water as well, and filtration, and recharge, and reuse and things like that too. So it's, uh, and that's one of the, the great things about the job. You haven't asked mm -hmm. me about that, but I'll just interject mm -hmm. that now. Um, 30 years, you think you get bored with things, sure. but you know, with so many different disciplines here that I, that I manage, there's something new and different yes. every day and challenging. Yeah. And, and I really like those challenges, quite yeah. honestly. It never gets boring. Even yes. on the weekends, <laughs> you know, when twins you agree. That's right. Yeah. No, yes, yeah. we talk this we, past weekend. Yes, we talk every yes. once and in a while, don't and, we? And a little bit of problem solving yeah. uh, is good for you. It's healthy, for sure, yes. 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 Uh, the, the, the old fire chief in me likes a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. Not too much, but just enough, right? A little bit of that. Yeah. Uh, and, and one more comment kind of on the, sure. um, the partnership piece, because I think that the interconnects and the, and the uh, water source um, configuration that we have here regionally, I think, is, is unusual, but it, it's such a, a positive thing long term mm -hmm. for Sarasota County. So we talked about Peace River. We have our own wells Correct. and access to groundwater. We have the access and partnership with Peace River, but we also have an interconnect with Manatee County as Correct. well. And so I just think that's good local government when you see, you know, the parties working together Truly. Um, long term. Mm -hmm. So um, that's good work. Yes. Yeah. So thank you and congratulations. Yeah, for you're that. welcome. Thank you. So as we as we finish up today, is there anything else you'd like to add to uh, to the discussion or share with the public? Well, I think I would just like to reemphasize again that w we're, we're easy to get in touch with. We would like yes. you to get in touch with us and tell us how we're doing as far as customer service because yes. we can always do a better job. Um, we communicate through Code Red, 
as far mm -hmm. as pushing out announcements, uh, as far as affecting utilities, maybe the water's going to be out yeah. for repair or an emergency. Um, but again, I'd just like to emphasize that we're, we're customer service yeah. centric, and any time that a customer would have a concern or issue, give us a call. Let us help you get something resolved. Yes. That's what we're here for. Very good. Well, thank you. Uh, broad responsibility: water, wastewater, stormwater solid waste, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of important things that impact the public every single day. So thank you for joining me today. Oh, my pleasure. And thank you for joining me for this edition of Inside View.